Okay. We will uh, start chainsawing things because this is nonsense. Okay, I will finish that recording. And I will get out of the truck now. And I will go get a chainsaw. And I will make this sane. Double the you know, iron. It's moments like this that make me realize that a sky bridge would have been a really good solution. To like everything? Yeah. Possibly. Just having a way to go above both our world and like both the our forest pain. and like our, our city. Yeah. <clears throat> Just gotta have like a nice archway over it all. So we can look down upon it and be like, huh, this was built by peasants. Then just try, then kind of try like, to like spot the area you're trying to get to and jump for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Apex. O ODST uh, Factorio. <laughs> Come on, Marines, ODST. you want to live forever? <laughs> I never played ODST, but I, re I kind of regret that because it seems fucking awesome. ODST is pretty neat. Uh, it doesn't actually feature the thing that it's famous for. Or what? that it's named after. Yeah, that's the part that maybe not played in the end. You never actually do the orbital drop in any point in the game. I know. That's just how the game starts, is is you drop down in a pod. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that there's something just very compelling as playing as a normal person in a world full of super genetic yeah. engineered turbo soldiers. And by, and by that we mean you're just a somewhat less uh, durable Master Chief, with that's otherwise yeah, identical I mean, in every still, way. You're still basically indistinguishable because, you know, it's still a video game. Yeah. But it's like kind of compelling-ish. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a really fun game with a really good campaign. Yeah. And a fun survival or, uh, mode. It was a really good game. Like, for instance, I, in Warhammer games, I tend to like to play as the Imperial Guard uh, for that reason. Of like, oh yeah, this is what just being a normal person would kind of be like in this world. Fucking no, horrible. Massive air quotes on normal. Fair. <laughs> Normal, a normal space world marine everyone. character in the horrible space <laughs> marine world. Yeah. Where everyone's like a giant, like, Hulk monster <laughs> that screams. Yeah. And those are the ones that are on your side. Yeah. Those are the ones that are there to protect you. Everyone in the entire universe is Toka and Razor. <laughs> oh god, no. I once uh, read a fairly interesting um, article, uh, or like speculation, I don't know what I'm trying to say, um, like analysis of the Warhammer universe, and they were like, uh, the point that they were making is that the game, uh, the world necessarily needs a thought police because incorrect thought in the Warhammer universe actually leads to demon summoning. <laughs> like, yeah, the cult Damn, is like I actually thought demons into existence again. <laughs> like, the cult of man is like a super duper, like, oppressive cult and stuff like that. But the alternative is worse because if you, like, are too much of a hippie, demons come out of hell to kill you. So, <laughs> yeah. And not only do they kill you, they become stronger for it and then they kill everyone. So, yeah, thought police. Something I've heard from Warhammer fans is that the worst thing, the worst thing about the universe lately is people that don't get its parody. Uh oh yeah, I've heard that uh, about a lot of people. Like people failing are... to recognize that Warhammer is like inherently a joke. Yeah. Across the board, like uh, all of it is. Mhm. Mm yeah, there there have been always. Um, I know plenty of people that. It's like, like the people the that prefer school. Starship Troopers, the book over the movie. <laughs> Yeah. And you're like, oh no. Mm -hmm. Aboard. <laughs> what is this? Biomass. I can make biomass. I can make a big old mass of bio. That sounded just as gross as I expected it would. <laughs> big and old somehow mass. Somehow a little bit grosser. Speaking of, uh, speaking of a big old mass of bio, how gay do you think the Warhammer universe is? <laughs> it's just it's be 40k where it's just like ships of thousands of men full of testosterone it's, just know, fighting like, it out. 
Yeah, and like, so, like there's like a whole like cult warehouse full of men, and they're like genetically engineered to have like turbo testosterone. I mean, those guys have got to just be like, like, all right, Marines, shack up. <laughs> It's time to drain. <laughs> all, I mean, okay, think about uh, think about it this way. They're all like Latin and Roman and shit, and we all know what those guys did in their spare time. Lots of fuck. Yeah. They, like, do, they, they do a many fuck. Yeah, and like in like Roman culture or whatever, you're considered gay if you had sex with your wife. So <laughs> <laughs> like, Due to Caesar, you boned your wife last night? That's dude, pretty gay, dude. dude. <laughs> That's pretty gay, dude. He's... <laughs> this is what we've come to, huh? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Due to yeah. Caesar. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know uh, how to process that one. Oh great, this tree is unkillable because <laughs> you can case it in a plate in, in in a in a fortress of iron ramp. I can't I've lost my place. I'm trying to do all this bullshit spaghetti with the copper. And I'm, I'm, like, just, I'm just getting you back for your goddamn I have Java straight joke up earlier. Lost track of what I of where I was with most of it. <laughs> I've gotten so lost. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. Why am I doing this? I just want a chainsaw. I just want a chainsaw. Mm. <laughs> oh. Hey, Audience, I've if you're from... angry, I'm also angry at me, so it's fine. <laughs> I've heard from a lot of uh, fans of Warhammer that they find it really, really annoying that uh, a lot of people are like really into like it's like kind of the same problem that people have or people have with like paradox games where it's like, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a World War Two sim where you can play as Nazi Germany. And some people are yes. really into that part like that, <laughs> like that. Um, and some people, they play Warhammer and they're like, ah, this is the future I want. It's like. <laughs> Where men can be men. <laughs> there are many takes, um, but some of them are wrong. <laughs> huh. Keep, I need help. Uh, I'm not fixing it. I'm too busy making my own problems. Need me help. Can't even tell which things are connected anymore to something. I'm just gonna make annoying noises and then run over and deconstruct your shit if you don't come over and help. No. All right, but actually, I'm just gonna try uh, leaving and rejoining the game. Oh, did it break? Yeah, there's something fucky going on. There's something fucky. Oh, our, our copper's backed up. Yeah, our copper wire production went from bad to. Did you incredible. unplug something? <laughs> No. That's usually why something plug uh, gets backed up is because whatever it was, wherever it was being used, just got unplugged. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, it's just all jamming into here. Wow, all of it really is just going into steel pipes. Yep. That's the only place that all this copper wire is actually going to. Well, yep. that, the good news is now there's so much of it being made that it will, that one container will actually be a place where you can grab it now, which yep. is the actual goal of all that. <laughs> was just to make that yep. happen. Yep. And that means we can finally research the rebar gun. <laughs> Cause I can buy because I can Is pick that, up You've spent like forty five minutes working yeah. towards that? Well it's that and every research we do is like we can't put thousands of copper here. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand on the on the track and pick up thousands of it. I refuse. That'll take the rest what of the my fuck? natural life. And if you don't optimize okay, keep, it, I actually need help. Now. If you don't automate it, it'll also then still be that problem. What happened? Uh, I don't know, but I actually like need help. Well, can you be more descriptive than nothing? Yep. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> Are you? You know the answer to that. <laughs> I. You can sit there then. 
If you're not gonna like help me help you at all. There's a tree and I can't chop it down despite the fact that I'm trying. So I want you to come over here and check if it actually exists in the game world or if it's a glitch on my end. Thank you. <laughs> See, was that so hard? No, not really. Oh. You didn't say yes in a drawn out fashion. And? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the key to improv. <clears throat> wow. Is, yeah. That uh. And the the manta ray just came down. Yeah, he like dips into this valley, and I kind of want to jump on his back. Yeah, he just came right. Did you destroy my ramp? I did because I'm trying to kill this shit. Why did you kill, kill my ramp? Tree. Kill this tree for me. <laughs> well. <laughs> Is it not working? I don't think so. All right. Oh no, I so can't cut you in half either. Oh, that's good. So here's the thing. We cannot possibly drive the truck up the ramp when this tree is in the way. Because the tree blocks it? Yep. Well, I guess we just got to build a new ramp like right next to there. Uh, yeah. You can build it one to the left, which would be incredibly stupid. Wait, that would work fine. Never that mind. would literally solve all the problems. And, and line up perfectly with the existing stuff. True. Alternatively... <laughs> that's not what I said. That's not what I sound like. <laughs> I don't sound like that. It's really funny. Oh, you're making it too easy to drive up here. No. It's gotta be... <laughs> it's gotta be challenging. So, we have to occasionally let ourselves breathe. <laughs> the... The truck route has to be as perilous as it is stupid. <laughs> fine. Encroaching fine. on right. what? There's nothing to encroach on. It was me. You liar. Was encroaching on me. I was the one in the way. Okay, you just keep building that ramp. I'm going to come by with the truck. I'm oh. not going to run you off the road. It keeps saying I'm encroaching, but there's like nothing to encroach on. It's really frustrating. Or as I can tell. All right, here we go. I got to I hold C. I then hit the start recording button and we're off. Why are, what are you doing? There's definitely not a ramp yet. Oh no. You are about to drive up the freaking hill. Oh god, it's you tore down the other parts of the ramp. I wasn't ready for that. I thought there was I thought you left the other part of the ramp up. No, it was a problem. Oh my god. This is why people put up like traffic cones or like fuck off we're building. <laughs> That's what they say on the traffic cones. Stop that. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Move it! I got my schedule to keep. This is your fun. schedule. Yeah. I like this game where I honk at you and don't do anything. <laughs> Are you ready for road rage? <laughs> Truck is already full. <laughs> yeah, it's got a people in I it. I ran out of cement. <laughs> God, I was about to drive up and I was like, hold on, that doesn't that still doesn't look right. <laughs> Nope, I'm out of I'm I'm some I still think that, that if I try that, there's going to be a little bit of an oopsie poopsie. Yeah. I gotta go find some- Oh, you, I can actually see your recording. Yeah, I there's, turned on the nodes. There's little play buttons all over the environment. Yeah, they're really stupid. <laughs> but they're better than nothing. Where, where Where is our cement again? Uh, yeah, over there. There's so much world. Huh. This really has I found just a tree that I can expanded. cut down infinitely. It lets you cut it down, but not really. Like the yeah. animation plays. Yep. Does it, use up, to, does it, it uses up your fuel? It uses up my fuel, but it also gives me biomass. So... Ah. That's usually uh, not why you're cutting, though. Yeah, I guess so. Do you think I can make this jump? Oh, God. <laughs> the consequences are dire if I don't. <laughs> Do not make the jump. Also, aren't you currently recording that vehicle going up and down over and over again, basically? Like, yeah. when it reaches this ramp, it's gonna go up the ramp, then back down, then back up, then back down, then finally go up it. 
Yes, obviously, you can see the notes all over the fucking RAM. Why even asking the question? <laughs> I want to hear you say it. I'm not going. <laughs> you just, you just did. There. All right, it's connected. We have even more ramp. Alrighty, Done it. he made it too easy, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Wait, no, the opposite <laughs> of that one. <laughs> this is not how these things work. Anyway, I back to fixing you, our base. I told you, man, my brain is taking a real staycation right now. Staycation? I guess if yeah, it was on a vacation, know, a vacation it would have, for poor people. If it was on a vacation, it'd have to go somewhere. Yeah. And this brain is stone. Oh man, I am enjoying cutting. This is some old growth forest. <laughs> You're just oh, cutting the will same look thing great forever. If I turn it into a desk. <laughs> oh, this tree is probably endangered. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I didn't need to do that at all. There was a dirt bath here the whole time. Well. Yeah. Well. What was I doing oh, again? Man. Oh, yeah. I wanted to optimize sticks. We're going to make so many sticks. Too many sticks, one sticks. might say. Maximum sticks. We're gonna stick it to the man. Beacons? Nah, uh, rods. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need we need more rod. Don't read in that one too much, chat. We must achieve maximum rod. Right, we still have an iron. We have an iron smelter that goes nowhere because it used to go somewhere, and I cut it off of that thing, and then it, it's just been permanently not going anywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> really? Yep. That's good to know. Remember that one? Tr well, you saw it for a while when we were trying to optimize the reinforced iron. There was that yeah. one old iron ingot track that was just kind of ended halfway down the hallway. Yeah. Because we weren't using it there anymore. Well, I eventually yeah. just deleted the rest of the track because it was in the way. But we never did give it a job after that. <laughs> we this, this is a very strong statement. Yeah. Y you knew about it. Probably. <laughs> Don't you put that on me. It's because it'd be entirely fair of you to do so. It doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> the important thing is that I don't have to blame myself. <laughs> and if yeah. I don't have to blame myself, then it's like it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Alrighty, this truck is very much laggy latency weird. God laggy damn, latency they ran into weird. Cops of trees. That's fine. We'll just keep that recording. Who gives a shit, right? Has it gone topsy treevy? Er, no, it's gone topsy treevy. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, goodbye, oh, sweet no. prince. I loved you, truck. <laughs> I love you. I loved you like I never love, love another. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh, this is not a. I want special boots that make me immune to conveyors at this point, except for when I want to not be. Because holy crap, you be in the middle of a thing and you just get flung. Like goodbye. Welcome to your belt vacation. <laughs> What have you done? Keith, you should come watch the truck. I back. just got back. <laughs> but it's really, really I'm never funny. gonna get anything done. But it's it is very much worth coming over here to see this. I'm on my way. Just just as soon as you get above the, the ramp, things go <laughs> a little bit amazing. It's not that big of a run. Anyway. I'm, in, I'm on the way. It takes time. Barely. Press E to edit this. We can, we can edit individual nodes. Yeah, you can delete them if you don't like the path that you ended up taking. What's gonna happen? Nothing. Where's the truck? Ahead. 
We're just my... gonna walk together the 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 path that I took uh, to get to get to the uh, oil pump. So does it just like have an AI that tries to drive to the next node each time, basically? Yep. So as you'll notice, things got a little bit <laughs> fucked up around here. Is that you crashing into that tree? It is me crashing into a tree, yes. <laughs> the weird uh, then... density of arrows over there. Yeah. Did you drive into the ocean? Oh, yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> the the, the, the fact that it records the trajectory. The arrows slowly fell sideways into there. <laughs> <laughs> the arrows just track exactly the angle and, and direction that you took to crash into the water. You can't enter or use truck as it's submerged in water. Yeah, you have to dismantle the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god, that was really funny. Alright, so we probably want to make this bridge a little bit thicker. And by we, you mean took. you. I'll work on it, it's fine, I have the stuff. I don't need to... <laughs> Surprisingly, only requires concrete, even though there's nothing about it looks like concrete. How much concrete do I have? A hundred and four. That should be enough to make some make the bridge. Yeah. Weirdly, foundations are just concrete, even though they they, they look like they're like iron or something. Yeah. That is kind of weird. <clears throat> On the way back. So we're gonna make the splatoon gun looks so happy. It's so covered in funfetti. This is probably not gonna work, but it might. Oh, it will work. Keith, I did something correctly. Yay! I'm not walking back. I just got here. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to watch, but you do have to appreciate it. <laughs> Put it on the fridge. Put it on the 8 meter by 2 meter foundation Our fridge. <laughs> Our base has gotten so big that it's really hard to tell where you are in it now. Like, it's well, becoming Yeah, it is conundrum. actually very hard to navigate in our base <clears throat> because you run around and you're like, spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Here we are. Interesting that mergers and splitters never have a speed. Yeah, I guess the I kind of like that because I always thought that making splitter twos and splitter threes and shit in Factorio was really annoying. It was rough. The worst part of it was specifically the fact that you had to make uh, you had in order to make a splitter two, you had to make a splitter one. I and know. In order to make a splitter was... three, you had to make a splitter one and turn that into a two and turn that into a three. I'm like, that's not how belts work. Yeah. Also, why really... can't you make a splitter three out of belt threes? <laughs> I know. It was really frustrating. It made no sense. It was infuriating. Like, I think that they were honestly just automating, like, making a challenge for the sake yeah. of making a challenge. And it was point. always too specific to ever make a, like, a. It always felt too specific to make an assembler for. So you'd always end up right. making them by hand, and because it was like a fourth a fourth tier recipe, it meant you were handcrafting something for like 60 seconds every time you were like wanted to make one splitter. It was kind of the worst. Yeah. I, Fuck you, I liked Factorio. Factorio. <laughs> but yeah, it was the fucking worst game I ever played. Factorio anyway. is Factorio is great. There's yeah. just really specific annoyances that develop, and then you then they they fester over hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing I kind of don't like about Factorio is that, like, once you find the main bus strategy, there's basically no other way to play the game. I mean, there are other things you can do, but yeah, kind of not. One of these days we can play C Block, the Factorio hyper complicated mod. That yeah. makes the game very long. And adds a bunch of new content and everything. So we, we have more broads coming in. How you doing? I'm good. He's, I'm gonna he's, head out now. He's like being up in my beers. Uh, yeah, your helmet he's, was emitting a great... Like, like being up in my nope. beers. Ow! You went really far. I did. <laughs> I did! <laughs> All right, I'm glad bye. you noticed! <laughs> Did you know that, uh... What Bird doesn't Andrew know is I'm gonna play the... without him. 
Andrew is in the Overwatch uh, team speak room right now. Is by he? Himself. Yeah. Uh, when we got on, Effie and Purple were in there. Oh. So they were probably well, all playing together playing. A, bit, a bit ago. Yeah. They were probably all playing per Overwatch for a bit while we were playing this. Oh. I think I, yeah. I think I should just go in and yell at him. I mean, you can. If you just That'd want to startle mean. the shit out of him, please record it. I'm not recording right now. Turn on the recording. <laughs> For science. All right. Tell me how it Hi, goes. My name is Birdcatcher, and this is Jackass. I'm... I call this one "Scare the Shit Out of Andrew." <laughs> All right, here we go. User left your channel. Goodbye. He's dead. That was the end of Birdcatcher. So much garbage in my inventory. My god. What happens when you work with tracks for a while? I'm getting off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna consider and play forever without a bird, but I just I did all this to fucking Optimize that one part of the base. User joined your channel. Does Andrew stream? Uh, he hasn't for like eight months. Uh oh, because I went and I talked to him, and he didn't acknowledge or say anything at all. Maybe he wasn't there. No, he was talking to somebody about Overwatch, and I got very oh. confused because I tried to be a jackass, but then I couldn't. Maybe it's somebody in life. I don't know. Maybe he was just. Uh, no. No, he was just being in the moment, bird. <laughs> being and being in the moment, I had to really use the bathroom. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. As far as I know, User Andrew's not streaming. From your channel. Andrew hasn't streamed in a very long time. I guess my value was wrong. I was basing that on how long it's been since he's last... Where the fuck is my base? Uh, I was basing that on the, la la on the last time he s uploaded any videos on YouTube, which was like eight months ago. But, uh, technically, uh, I think he tried streaming a couple times on Twitch since then. But as far as I know, he wasn't streaming, but maybe he is. Let's find out. I know how to find out. While I drag these rotors in here. Oh shit, Andrew's streaming. Yeah, Andrew's streaming right now. Well, I guess we're the assholes. I mean, Andrew never streams, so, you know. Launch. Let me make rebar gun. Spiked rebar. Rebar gun. Requires lots of screws and nonsense. And iron rods. Uh, hopefully, optimize this enough that I can do this. Screws have not been a problem generally. I really should have actually wish listed the recipe so I knew how much I needed because I did not. Yet. Where the. F Fuck am I? <laughs> oh, this is the... This is steel production. I kind of like the idea of like the uh, someone in the audience trying to draw a map of this fucking base. To see how much people can even process what's happening in the series. Definitely having a little of that, a bit of that, uh... We may have gone too far in a few places feeling. Because <laughs> there's just so much. And I'm like, oh no. What are we- what am I putting my audience through? Because in Factorio, when things were a fuck mess, you could at least see the way it was a fuck mess. Because it, it was a nice symmetric game. Or a top-down game, I guess? But this game... Can't fucking tell. I didn't get enough. I need way more screws, it turns out. Thankfully, screws are all over the place. Just all over the place. 
Oh no, they're slowing down. Yes. Oh, every se I see. Every shot you fire of rebar, you just straight up fire a iron rod at somebody. An iron rod. Just f dunk. Let's reload that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, now. Why don't we go on a little adventure? And risk everything in a bad moment of bad. Uh, oh shit. Bird's not there, so I can't go towards his way waypoint anymore. Oh, here we go. I need to go find something hostile. And the primary place I associate hostility with is that island. Oh, that's, that's a drill. Like, what's that sound? I can hear the game so much more when I'm not with a person. Oh, green slug. That's achievable. Probably really go make a pass to go get that. Just because every single slug is an optimizer. Come on, game. Come on, nature. Give me something to shoot. We're approaching the danger zone. Um, what am I saying? What is, what is, the fuck is that? What were all those sparks? What? Is that just what it looks like when something renders that I haven't seen before that bird has made or something? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it does have to show like a I've been built animation for a second when I approach something that I haven't seen yet because it was built when it, when I was out of the zone. Come on, wildlife, show me what you got. This area is full of crude oil. It seems really dangerous to have like a horrible exploding mortar fire enemy roaming it. I feel like that'd be self-destructive for them too. Like shoot some fire and they're like, oh shit, this whole place is on fire now. I didn't think this through. My natural habitat has been destroyed. Dude, where are these? These guys just vanish and then reappear, it feels like. Like there were a bunch of them and now there's just none of them? They're huge, giant, horrible problems. And now they're just gone. I wonder if when you build enough buildings, wildlife is just kind of driven back and they just go away. Like, I wonder if a bird, because I don't think I heard anything about bird fighting them. I wonder if bird just expanding the buildings made them leave. Well, this trip's kind of a bust, isn't it? Bloop! Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's definitely like a radioactive zone. What is that? Oh, it's just like a pile of sticks. Oh, with a slug. What in the world? Do I just need to chainsaw this?
high floating slug. None of space. Shit. I'll get rid of these. <laughs> They're floating. There we go. I do find it interesting how often the slugs are set up as being like an obstacle. Like, do you have this device yet? You'll get a slug if you do. Which is one of the more, es more, I guess, direct ways of encouraging you to build each device. What, did Bird take all of the hazards with him when he logged out? <laughs> what the hell? I just wanted to shoot something, and all living creatures just vanished, evidently. Ah, shit. That's just a bad place. Alright, well, I guess that's it then. I gave it a go. We got a slug, though. Got that going for us. Uh, oh, wow, that's the direction? I get all turned around around here. Uh, I guess I'll just have to whip this out in a point in a case of emergency sometime in the future and we'll finally get a use out of it but for now all I can do is shoot pointless things it doesn't even make contact well 